Hey guys, did I do it here? So it is, what is today? Friday, Friday, July 31st. So the stadium, 2020, the stadium is complete today. I don't know if everything is fully complete. Like I know there's like a locker room that's not fully complete, but it's complete enough for games to be there and for events to be there. But unfortunately, everything's canceled as of now. Um, they're supposedly gonna play the games, but with no fans for now, so I don't know. We'll see all the preseason games. We're about to turn on Polaris here. Check it out. So, hey, Jared, she's gonna film it here. This is um, Polaris and um, Russell. So this is the backside of the stadium. They're coming around. And then, here we go. This is now on Polaris. So this is the new, they just redid this road. It's really nice. And they have these new sidewalks and stuff. So this is gonna be really nice for the fans when they get to come back. <laughs> whenever that is. Um, but they got the field tray down there, they finished that. Uh, so they're gonna bring the grass in and out. Um, and they have all of these entries. So look at that, there's the Southwest entry. They have the different ones, see that one's America First Credit Union. They have different sponsors. Um, uh, do you wanna go here Richard? No, we're gonna go in the front, I think. Yeah, the front. And then, um, all these look at all these parking lots but there's not very much parking there's all these parking lots but I think it's only like 2,500 spots total so parking is gonna be an issue that's where they're gonna have to bus people um, oh look at that what's going on with the look so there it looks like they're are they taking a thing on or putting it off that's fine. anyways they are gonna have to bus people to the stadium so here we're turning now on um, this is Hacienda and our next turn is going to be on Al Davis Way. So they named the road Al Davis Way after the late owner Al Davis. So the Uber driver will just drop us off in front here. And then we'll make our rounds. But this is the, it's done. So, I mean, pretty much it's ready to go. They could play a game if it was allowed right now. Yes, you can just drop us right here in front. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for the ride. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. It's hot. <laughs> it is hot today. So it was like 111 earlier. I don't know what it is right now. Let me look. It's 110 right now still. 110 degrees. We're out here, but we had to come out because it's... Hundred, look, yeah, look at this crazy thing. It's 110 degrees, but we had to come out because this is gonna be, oh, this is amazing. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I feel like, oh, let me take this off. 100 million degrees out here, good Lord. I don't care, it's too hot. I'm gonna die doing my broadcast. 110 degrees with a mask on. So this is the brand new entrance here. So this is Al Davis Way right here. Uh, obviously named after the late Al Davis, owner of the Raiders, basically creator of the Raiders. Uh, the man. This year was their 60 year anniversary of the Raiders. That's why they really wanted to get here in 2020 to mark the 60 year anniversary. And they did, but unfortunately, as we all know, this is not what we had expected. I mean, look how beautiful this is. Look at these stairs, this walkway. Okay, so you come here, you guys, and you pay wherever you pay, uh, but like, you look, this part you won't be able to get through I don't know, but like, see, this will be blocked off, and then when you come in, once you get in there, then you can walk up the stairs. That's cool. So this is like, I guess you probably can't pass these doors unless you pay. Unless maybe this will open and you can walk on that part. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm not sure where the actual ticket booth will be, but it looks like these are pretty solid gates here. So this might be, like, if you don't pay for it, this might be as close as you get. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if these open during the game days and you can walk up the stairs or where, you know, where your limit is. But it looks like these are, look like some pretty sturdy fences. So this is probably as close as you can get without ever having a ticket. You know, like, this is where you can walk around. So you can walk around all this area, all these areas, but this is the fence that... Do not pass this! <laughs> Unless you have paid. <laughs> so um, they have that brand new sign over there. You can see they got the Allegiant Stadium. Yeah, let's go check it out. They have the Allegiant. Look at, this is what I was looking at. I don't know if this is coming on or off of Luxor, but that's the MGM Lion. 
And I heard they're getting rid of Luxor. There's a new Raider sign over here too. Check out that one. Look at that big new Raider billboard. Eight News Now is down here. Eight News is here. <laughs> I forgot he blocked you. <laughs> forgot he blocked you. Yeah, 8 News Now is down here. Because, you guys, this is so... Unfortunately, I think this would have been a very... Uh, maybe a celebratory day. Maybe they would have had an event, even. Had it been regular times. But now, it's with the coronavirus, this is uh, completion day. And we're kind of just... No one's here. So... I feel like it's a little bit depressing for people. It's uh, kind of a letdown because the stadium's done, but unfortunately, no one can go to a game. <laughs> so it's like this catch-22, and it's kind of like a a blessing and a curse now because you're like, yay, it's done, but it's going to be empty. <laughs> so it's really sad. I feel bad for the players, too, because, you know, no one wants to play with no fans. That's got to be tough. I don't think really there's been any players that have played professional games without fans. You practice without fans, but when you play a game or even high school, I mean, unless you had a school that no one showed up, but man, usually you have some fans. At least your parents usually show up. Oh yeah, so PJ Hall, one of the Raiders players, uh, got a pulled over here in Vegas. And normally, you know, if you are a player and you just came to a town, you might let it slide, you know, be like, ah, okay, cool, you're here with the Raiders. We'll let a speeding ticket go. No, they said, welcome to Vegas and popped him with a fatty speeding ticket. He said, welcome to Vegas as he handed him the ticket. Not like welcome to Vegas in a cool way, like welcome to Vegas, fuck you, here's your speeding ticket. Just not really what we should be doing, especially because right, oh, so here's another thing, you guys. So Vegas is in a state of basically, excuse my French, a shithole right now because of the coronavirus. There's no one here. The current people that are coming, not all, because I don't want to offend anyone, but a large portion of the people that are visiting are not the high rollers that you want. Jedi Rich actually posted a video of we were out at 11 p.m. At MGM and there was children rolling around the floor. There was guys jogging through MGM. I don't know what that was about. And this was at 11 p.m. I said, man, it's not the kind of high rollers you want. You know what I mean? It. And so what's happening is since the coronavirus, Vegas is really hurting. And people say, oh, they got money forever. No, they don't actually. When you're losing like a million dollars a day almost, and money goes real fast for some of these guys. So here's the thing. They're all, you know, hoping for all of these new projects here. But you guys, Vegas is, I don't know when it's going to recover because this is all about entertainment and being together and events and parties and conferences and all these things, conventions that you're with a big group of people and now everyone is not really in that mood of being together it's all this six feet of separation so i don't know what is going to happen here in vegas and um you know the, the problem is instead of vegas being nice to the current tourists they're making more rules so the d made a rule that they wouldn't allow people with face and neck tattoos to be in their casinos and I say to myself I scratch from my darn head I say you have no one in your casinos and you're turning away people for one thing the D if you guys don't know is not the most highest clientele it's not like the the Bellagio it's the people go there that want to like it's cheap and it's like really chill and there's girls dancing on the tables and stuff it's like the old school so like face and neck tattoos are kind of appropriate for that place in the first place but they are turning away guys this guy did a big, big thing on social media appalled they have no customers and they're turning away people for tattoos they said they didn't like people that, that they don't like the clientele of wearing ne face and neck tattoos well they had to change that because people found that to be absolutely ludicrous but those are the kind of things that are making people get a bad taste in their mouth for Vegas and unfortunately those are the type of things that have made the Jedi decide to move and we are heading to Panama. You say, why Panama? Yeah. And I mean Panama the country. People think we're talking about Panama City, Florida. No, we're going to Panama City, Panama. Not Florida. We're leaving the United States. We're going to Panama. You say, why Panama? Jedi Rich's mother is Panamanian. I'm not sure if you guys know that. A lot of people don't realize that. She uh, is from Panama. She grew up in Panama and she moved to New York City 
uh, in her uh, like uh, 20s, but she lived in Panama her whole life. And we actually visited in 2012 and decided to stay for an entire year. Um, and we would have stayed, I didn't want to come back to be honest to the States. I loved it so much. But Jefferson's mother was here and we still had some loose ends to tie up. We had storage in Portland, Oregon, because we had been living in Portland, Oregon before Panama. And we came back here and we loved Vegas for a while. Vegas was awesome. We've been here for seven years. We really enjoyed it. But ever since the shutdown, you guys, it's not the same. And it's going to be a long time to recover. And I just don't like the temperament of a lot of the things going on here. I don't like the attitude. I don't like that they make it illegal to feed pigeons, that it's illegal to be homeless, illegal to have glass bottles, illegal to do this, illegal to do that, when this was supposed to be a fun place. Vegas was supposed to be like, what happens in Sin City uh, stays in Sin City and, you know, like, enjoy yourself. But now the temperament is just so different, you know, and already I did a Raider security guy coming over here checking out what we're doing. That's the other thing. If you're doing any kind of video, they're like, oh my gosh, stop at the casinos and stuff. Here they don't do it as much, but like I was, like, what are you guys doing? But at the casinos, you can actually get in trouble for taking video. They need people to promote the casinos. No one is coming to Vegas. And then you go out there with your social media and they say, oh my gosh, you cannot record. They will sue you if you uh, have video of their buildings. I'm like, are you guys out of your mind? All we're trying to do is promote your place. So most people on social media are doing, even if they're talking negative, no, no publicity is negative publicity. It's all good. Cause even if we're saying something crappy, people go, Oh, I'm going to go to Vegas. I don't care what those people are saying. There's deals right now. You know what I mean? So you don't want to ever not have people talking about your place. It doesn't matter. Even if they're bitching, it's still, you know, getting people talking about it. So it's just this crazy idea. And usually most people are saying cool stuff. Most social media people are like, look at this cool thing in Vegas, look at this strip, look at this, that, and the other. And they shut down tourists, they shut down bloggers, it's just ridiculous. So, um, but anyways, we're really looking forward to going to Panama. So, the reason why we're going to Panama, another reason is we have land there. Jedi Rich's father purchased some land on the Caribbean side. So we're first going to Panama City, but there's a whole Caribbean side that's not very populated. That's where we have some land. Now, the thing is, when Jedi Rich's father passed away, the land got, it got a, a little mixed up with his mother's not the most organized. So we have to go resolve that, and we're going to a foreign country, so it could take a minute. But we have land there. We uh, know how to work there. We've been there before. Um, uh, housing is inexpensive there, and it's just amazing. Everyone's, uh, the energy in Panama is just wonderful. You walk outside, people are just in a great mood, partying in the streets. I don't know how it's going to be with the coronavirus. might take a minute for to get that energy back. I know they were having some pretty high restrictions about um, uh, uh, the curfews, and guys could only go on, out on some nights and girls on other nights and things like that. But hopefully those will all be lifted by the time we go. We're waiting for our passports. We just this week applied for them. We had to get them because they were stolen in 2017 from our car. So a really short recap, really quick, for some people don't understand what happened. 2017 Mandalay Bay incident happened. That really affected the Jedi because we lived right behind Mandalay Bay. We lived pretty much in the closest like housing you can live of like an apartment. We were in these weeklies right on Tropicana and we would look behind us right here. We could see out the window. Jedi Rich would take pics. So when that happened, we were hugely affected and um, we decided we were going to move. This was in 2017. So we packed up our car. We had a Jaguar. 2009 Jaguar Premium XF. It was really nice. And we packed it up with all the things we wanted to keep. And we decided um, to hit the road. But we were kind of like in a panic because we just wanted to get out of here because it was like really chaotic. And we we're like, let's just leave. And Jedi Rich wanted to go check out this cave thing that we met this guy we, when he was taking photos and time and he's like let's check that out before we leave well while we went there we broke the oil pan in the car and then we said let's just stay in the caves because this guy had had tents up there and stuff and then um within a couple days someone stole the car so in the car had everything we wanted to keep as in all of our personal documents our passports the title to the car um, our checking account information, all that stuff. So they took all the money out of our account. They took our passports. They you know, stole our identities, all that stuff. So we had to cancel all that stuff. And um, we never got the car back. It was a loss. And uh, after that, you know, we kind of just did our thing for a while. And you guys have watched us. But that was really...
Vegas has never recovered fully since then, and we've never really recovered since the Mandalay Bay incident. And now we're just going to start a new journey. But we will miss you guys all. Um, we've loved this journey. We've really come out here since the beginning. If you guys don't know, uh, I was out here with the first sign. The first sign that they put, it was over right next to the Chevron over here on Polaris and uh, Russell. They put a sign said, the Raiders are coming. And I went out there and I said, let's take a, sign, a photo. And we have those photos. And then they took down that sign a little bit later. But that was the first thing. And ever since then, we've been documenting it. We went through the trespass of June 2019, or May, May, June 2019, you guys, um, where we pretty much lost all of our followers after that. And we are down here to figure out what was going on with the trusses and this third shift details. So you guys, we found it out. You're going to hear it first here on the Jedi Jar Ridge Show. When we said that uh, there was an issue with the trusses, which there was, they put uh, about half the trusses together incorrectly. One piece they put upside down, so it messed it up a little bit to where it was off. And we found out later that did affect where they tried to lift the roof. And then it busted out all these bolts and all this drama. And then we, ha we had the snow before that. If you guys remember, that's where we first said the stadium might get delayed. Now what we meant by delayed, which everyone just jumped on us, I'd never seen a frenzy like this, was that they were not on their original course. It meant they needed more money, more hours, this and that, which they did. They had to end up getting a third shift. So we are officially on a third shift now. There's a night shift and a Sunday shift. But people went nuts that we said delayed and look at that they weren't delayed you guys they finished on july 31st 2020 for no fans to watch so what difference did it make you guys everyone just called us all sorts of names it was just this horrible thing because all we said was that they messed up and it was going to be a little bit delayed which it was delayed had they not got more crew do you get what i'm saying like they were off schedule people still are like oh it wasn't delayed like they would have been if they didn't get more money that would be the definition of they were delayed. They had to get more money to hire more people so they could get it done quicker. But anyways, it's neither here nor there now because look at they're done on time. Congratulations. Unfortunately. I heard some people might want to do the song again, but I know we don't feel like it. Oh, the song, the song, the loved and hated song. So this song got us like 880,000 views on Twitter, which is huge for the Jedi. I don't know if you guys know this, we do not get views. We pour our hearts out and we get like 20 views. <laughs> uh, people just refuse to watch our stuff. That one, we got 880,000 views, the most we've ever got on anything ever. Thank you, everyone. A lot of it was negative, which made it go viral, but thanks. But anyways, yeah, you know what? Um, it's a hot day. Not sure, you guys. It is, what is it? 109 now okay it came down one degree so maybe i could consider because the wind picked up and it did come down one degree from the time but i got i got sweaty hat i got swass which is sweaty ass <laughs> oh i got my new shoes i got balance what is that? so they say joy rich me and jedi rich are matching he can film his tune after mine The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and Great upside nation, down nation, and laugh nation, when he's conquered and won. This is your president speaking.
Sylvia Vegas Raid, Orange Hill, Jean Up Shaw, Jack Tatum, True Outlaw, Saddest Friend, Belit Nagal, Lesnar Hayes, Biggie Young, Brown Brothers, Billy and Tim, Fuck it, I know y'all know Jim, y'all know Lyle, y'all know Ted, Axton, put you to bed, Dave Clapper, Cliff Brand, Tom Ford, who you think you can, George Fonda, Howie Long, Marcus Allen, come back home, Vegas Raiders, just win. Imagine he can film his tune after mine. He can put, put down those on feet. That would look good. Moving your camera. Yeah. We have matching Joy Rich shoes, K Swiss. Joy Rich is our brand. We happen to have a clothing brand that has our two names combined. What couple, what married couple has that? Only the Jedi. So we got these kicks. This is what we're going to wear to Panama on the plane. So we go in style here. Look. Look at how little. The mini, mini. Mini me. His and hers. No, no. Hello. No, don't know this guy. Cool. So um, there's a lot of bloggers, you know, now at the stadium. This has become a really big thing, so it's it's fun. You know, it's funny because when we first got here, the very first there was no one, and then pretty early on, we'll have to give credit to Mark Duntoff came out, uh, Raider 1967, and that guy has, man, he has just been, what do you call that, the, uh, 
the, 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 the like the train that yes that because we were like man it is hot it is like it, it got boring he was out here at least like twice a week like the entire time so good job Mark you guys can check him out right in 1967 um, you should check him out as we leave because he's probably going to continue the Raider thing so for Raider people that don't want to know anything more about the Jedi that just want to know about Raiders we probably won't be doing much more Raider stuff but we hope the rest of you will stick around and check out the new Jedi adventures because we're gonna to go to Panama we might do the song in Panama a couple times so that will be interesting for you Raider people but unfortunately we're not gonna be in Las Vegas so um, but I hope the rest of you Raider Nation come because we've had a journey with you guys we've had some ups and downs some real fights on Twitter but it's been fun it's been real and I will one more time do the song touchdown touchdown let's throw a ball down first down let's throw a ball down every now first we score then we ground having fun look around nobody loud as a Raider crowd nobody proud as a Raider crowd NFL how you like me now we gon' do this Vegas style nothing but action I'm Bo Jackson hit the goal run for over go five jump it over go crazy lose soul lose your mind in a black hole here's your goal